Hi everyone. Okay, it is Friday night and let's get this party started because I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> I uh, I actually wasn't going to film today. Well, I wanted to film this morning and then, uh, so Tim's working 72 hours so he won't be home till Sunday. He went to work yesterday morning and won't be home till Sunday. So I woke up and I didn't have to go pick him up or take him and I didn't, my friend's not here so I don't have to go walk and so I was like, Oh my god, I can sleep in. I don't have to wake up. I don't have to take a shower. Yeah, so I can smell and nobody's around. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I want my husband. But if there's something positive, then that's the only positive I can think of. So, <laughs> but uh, okay. So this is our week that we went to New Orleans. Oh, it was so much fun. I had such a blast with my husband. It just, it was a good getaway. And three days is plenty. Three days is just enough. The, yeah, like, like I told you last video, I, I gained 8.2 pounds from this trip. And it was worth it. <laughs> uh, you gotta hit this, you gotta hear Deadpool's voice when I say that. Because <laughs> it's just, totally was, it was worth it. And would I do it again? In a heartbeat. <laughs> so we ate. And we ate good, you guys. Oh, my God. If you go to New Orleans, you have to go eat at Cafe de Monde, of course. Because we were there 14 years ago with the kids. And uh, so we've, we've been there before. And, um, well, this time we decided to... Uh, <laughs> We decided, you know, like I said, this is the year, this is the era of Yelp and um, all the fun, you know, Food Network and all those channels and stuff. So, yeah, we knew what we wanted to do and it was neat. And we did a lot of playing by ear also, so that was cool. So, uh, we, um, we just, we had a blast. We ate our way through New Orleans and uh, I almost died the first day though, you guys, I tell you. That humidity took me for a took me for a ride, and I was I was like, okay, honey, can I just sit for just a second? And I plop myself down on the grass, and I'm like, he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I better be fine because this is only the first day, and it's only like the first hour, and so I'm like, yeah, the humidity, being a big girl, and I'm like, ooh, yeah, it kicked my butt. So. But after that, I was okay, so that was good. So that was really good. I got my new TN desk that my husband. Okay, so we got home. We got home at Saturday, Saturday morning, and like at 4 a.m. we got home, and we went to IKEA the night before because IKEA is on the way to the airport. So, okay, I'll tell you the story of IKEA. <laughs> I might as well tell you now, but this is from Ikea, so that's why I'm like, okay. Well, <laughs> Ikea little website, it sucks. Because it has two times on there that say how late they're open till. Well, of course, one day says 9, another one says 10. And I'm like, okay, well, they're open till 10. Well, our flight was, you know, like at 1 in the morning or something. So we had enough time to get up to to be at the airport and everything else and also go get my desk because I saw which desk I wanted and so I knew exactly what I wanted and so and I knew that they had it because um you know they do that pick up if you want and so I said okay okay this is all good well <laughs> and well the um let me put this down first so we get to Ikea early because we're like, okay, well, traffic and everything else, we want to get up, get to the airport on time, that kind of thing, you know, but let's go eat dinner, we said, I said, let's go eat dinner, that way we, we can, uh, we don't, we can just kick back, you know, and not worry about things if we, if we do that, and he's like, okay, no problem, so we get to Ikea, we get to Ikea at, uh, what time? Eight, we walk in, well, we parked, where we parked was somewhere we weren't, we weren't familiar with, and I've never parked in that area, and I'm like, oh, geez, okay, well, this, yeah, I don't want to do that again, so we had a, we have to, we had to hoof it, so we probably got there about 8.15 or so, by the time we get up to the food court, 
we have never ever ever eaten there before and and uh, so it was one of those like okay well you know how Ikea is like this freaking maze it's like it's a maze and you can get lost and you just you just don't know where you're going so you just have to follow those stupid arrows and well so <laughs> so we get upstairs we go we go to the cafeteria and it looks like it's deserted and I'm like I've never seen Ikea's food court deserted before so what's going on with that well we get well we go up to the front and we're looking and the guy goes uh he looks at us and then he runs behind the counter he literally runs behind the counter runs to the cashier and says we're closed this is the last this is the last people we're taking and I'm like okay well he kept saying it and we're like do you want us to leave or what you know it was kind of like okay what what do you want <laughs> do you want us to just leave we can it's not a problem and I, I look at the time it's 829 he goes no it's okay but you're my last ones and we're like okay well Tim goes what time is it I go it's 829 he go what time do you guys close 830 I'm like oh my goodness so yeah so uh, uh yeah oh, okay so he was uh, yeah so <laughs> After he was kind of like grumbling, the man, the the server, he was just like, okay, what do you guys want? And and so he goes, okay. And I think he realized his tone was so like bad. And so he kicked down, you know, a couple more extra sweetest meatballs, which Tim, has, Tim ate because I'm like, I'm not eating that stuff. It's not my cup of tea. And so um, I had chicken tenders and he had Swedish meatballs because <laughs> he wanted to try them because Yelp says that they're really good, right? And so, <laughs> so that was like, okay, hun, perfect. So he gets some, the guy gives us a little extra. Um, well then, <laughs> we go sit down and we're sitting down, we're eating, chit-chatting, you know, um, that's all, just chit-chatting. Well then, we hear an announcement downstairs and we're like, I was like, what's that announcement? And I'm like, huh. I go, don't tell me that they're closing. And this is like 10 minutes. Well, it was probably like a few minutes before that. And so, because we were just eating comfortably. And <laughs> by the time you get up, go get your barbecue sauce and everything else, it's kind of like, okay. Well, <sighs> so then I go, oh, is that an announcement that says they're closing? Because you can only hear it downstairs. And so I see a, a, a worker there, a lady who was working, and she was cleaning the, the kitchen. I go, what time do you guys close? She's like, nine. And I'm like, I look at the time. It's, it's, and then the announcement came, like two minutes after I asked her, because I'm like, oh, crud. So I run back. We have ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes to find a desk, a desk that I have no idea where it's at. I have no clue whatsoever. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So Tim is laughing. Well, he's not, he's, he's like laughing, but he's kind of not laughing. He's like, oh my God, what did you do? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so we threw my leftovers into a box and we ran. And uh, I, is it upstairs or downstairs? I don't know where we ran, but we ran somewhere. And um, <laughs> so it looked like we were, okay, seriously. I don't think he likes my story. He's not too impressed. But uh, we, uh, <laughs> so it looked like we could seriously be, Tim and I, like hocus pocus. Like seriously, like we were like, you know, locking, locking hands and like locking elbows, like let's go. And then we're walking and it's like, you're just looking left, right, left, right, left, right. You're like, is that it? No, that's not it. Is that it? No, that's not it. I'm like, maybe we need to ask a worker because I mean, the announcement's like every minute on the, on the dot, you know, like we're closing, please bring your final purchases. And we're like, ah, and so, and we knew that the, that we would have to still go get it. So I stopped and I was like, okay, we got to ask somebody. So there was a guy there and I got to ask him and, but there was another guy ahead of me. So it was like, okay, time's ticking. Oh my goodness. And so, oh my God, you guys, that was an episode from, from just weirdness because yeah, I screwed that up, but, <laughs> oh yeah. So Boy, I tell you, but I got my desk. So we got home, at, go back to the story. So we got home like at 4 a.m. And, you know, we went to bed after the puppies calmed down after seeing us. 
Then we uh, we wake up and it's probably about 11 or so and Tim starts building my desk and I'm like he's just so kind to me he really is he's so awesome so I got my desk I love it it is the cutest thing ever it's just it's an awesome desk and it wasn't expensive at all and I thought ooh yeah score and that's why I wanted it too because it wasn't so I don't want to pay an arm and a leg for things you know <laughs> So, yeah, it worked out perfectly, but I'll tell you what, that initial oh, running through Ikea, and that happened last time, because last time we came out of, we came back from, I want to say Arizona, or it could have been Texas. I think it was Texas, because I think that was, yeah, that was during Mother's Day, Texas was. My mom has been wanting a Razcog forever, and well, we left we when we left it was I don't know what time it was but we left and then so I knew we had about uh, an hour when we landed in San Francisco that we could run over to Ikea which is about 20 minutes north so it was on our way um, but we had to we had to book it well our flight our flight was delayed <laughs> so so we basically had like 20 minutes um, what what was it? No, it was like 20 minutes to get there and 10 minutes in order to get what we needed. So it was another whirlwind of um, of Ikea. So it seems like two times now we have ran through Ikea with our heads caught off. But, this, but, the, but the Rascogs, I knew where those were because we had just gotten some, you know, just like a month or so prior. So I'm like, okay, so that one wasn't a big deal. But this desk, it was just like, oh my goodness, running around. Oh my goodness. So yeah. <sighs> and then when you have to ask directions in the store on how to get out, you know that it's just, it's a, it's a crazy area. It's just craziness. So but yeah, so anyways, oh my god, you guys, these books, oh, I've been devouring these books. I really wish there was a book club that only read the books that I like <laughs> because I just want to talk to people and, and just, you know, have a conversation and just, ah, oh, you know, just talk to them about this dang author because I'm, oh, she is amazing. Oh man, now I'm all caught up and now I'm like, oh my god, and it left with, 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 oh, not like a, well, kind of a cliffhanger, but, oh, and I have to wait a whole year. <laughs> so it took me like two weeks to read all her books and now it's going to take me a year before the next one comes out. And I'm like, darn it, you know, you hate when the authors do that. You're like, can you write just a little faster? <laughs> can you make the publishers bring out books a little bit more often? <laughs> so yeah, it's just like, oh darn it <laughs> so but these books are fabulous they are so fabulous so yeah so good I can't oh, I love reading I love reading it doesn't do anything for me but you know like you know like I said <laughs> penmanship talking writing um arithmetic nothing <laughs> so <laughs> but I love reading them oh, so you guys Karen Chance oh, it's Cassie Palmer and uh the other one is the Dory books. They are so good. So good. Oh, I didn't tell you. Well, I have a whole pile over to my to my left. So I will hit what collection this is and all that stuff. So I will tell you right now who all this is. I had a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, um, what are these things called? Letters to explain the stories a little bit more on this one because the um it needed to be told you know so i'm gonna put a heart right here um so anyways this in new orleans i guess is a fictional area uh for my husband loves preston and child he loves preston and child author and uh, yeah and uh he he's like can we go see the fictional area of where pender gast is it gast is at and I'm like of course we can and so um so this right here is is the area of where the fictional characters at and he was just so happy and it was just so cute because I understand you know I'm like yeah <laughs> and he devours th these books he can't get enough of of this this author and this series so <laughs> he's just 
he, he he's like I can't read him that fast but I want to <laughs> and I'm like yeah, <laughs> yeah the whole work thing <laughs> it kind of gets in the way of his reading time so but, um so yeah he loved it he totally loved it I am sweating so badly oh you guys I finished week well because like I said my husband's gone I didn't have to take a shower and I didn't have to entertain anybody and the puppies don't care what I look or smell like so I have been in my office all day today and I finished week 29 so this is week 28 I finished 29 I'm going to print out pictures tomorrow for week 30 and life will be great because I'm not yeah, I'm not going anywhere tomorrow either so I'm like I have nowhere to go <sighs> no money to spend nowhere to go so I'll stay home so but that's okay because I have plenty to do I have plenty plenty to do Cheyenne's doing good you guys she's doing good so she went and saw Ma Mama Mia too if you haven't seen that then um yeah I haven't seen it nor will I see it because yeah and um so I felt so bad for her because she's all mom she's all I bawled my head off she's all at the end she says the end so she just she's like she lost it and I thought oh my gosh well my bestie went and saw it and said don't let Cheyenne see the end and I didn't know that until that she was gonna go see it and so she saw it hours later and I didn't get I didn't get a chance to tell her not to see it or at least leave 10 minutes before the movie was out and yeah so I felt so awful for her she's just like oh my god she's all, I just lost it and I'm like oh no so that's I think the only time that she has broken down so and that's that's pretty good and that she well she's having really severe hot flashes like severe hot flashes and mood swings and so uh, she told the doctor, the nurse, she's like, okay, you guys are going to have to help me until I get to go see you and we can talk things out because she's like, this isn't working. <laughs> this isn't working at all. <laughs> and so they gave her something. And, um, but yeah, so I felt, she's just going through, she's going through stuff, but mentally she's okay. So that's good. So, and I think it's all of you guys crossing your fingers or thinking about her is what helps too. So thank you very much thank you thank you so let me cut this down and another quick one so another quick one but I do I'm gonna have to put these on what do you guys think I like it I thought it was super cute okay so this is simple stories travel mates that's that's this collection, okay? And then I have an insert. This was Tim's birthday week also, so because his birthday is the 12th. So this was the week of his birthday. Now this was Faubourg Bistro. That's what we ate when we got there. Oh my God, it was a catfish on a pretzel bun. And the fries were delicious, oh my God. So then we always go and see the football. We follow the football, my favorite football teams. And Saints is one of them. It's on my list and we got to see their they're very boring superdome <laughs> and then cafe de Monde, we had that every morning for breakfast and i'm telling you guys if you go to new orleans you have to go eat at oceana it was amazing it was amazing we went there two nights in a row for dinner that's how amazing it was we could have gone anywhere and we went there two nights in a row we went to royal house royal house is really expensive and the food was okay and you know that's it and then on the way home this airplane I think we flew American. This airplane had air conditioning. That was like the first time. I mean, they had the whole the whole air. It was just crazy. So, Kai's mom, um, have fun on your vacation. Seattle has a, a burger joint that is amazing. Their bacon. They're famous for their bacon. You got to stop there. And Oregon is Tillamook. Oh, I can't wait to go back to Tillamook. So, and then have fun. Have a blast. Lots of pictures too for you. Safe travels. And then Scrap and Ellie, big hugs, woman, <laughs> big hugs. I gotta show you this because it was Tim's birthday, and his coworker gave him this card. It is so much fun. Now watch, it's gonna be loud.
<laughs> is that not cute? Oi! <laughs> so yeah, that was just from his coworker. That is just the cutest thing ever. All right, guys, take care. Have an awesome weekend, and I will see you hopefully soon. Uh, yeah, so hopefully soon. But band of hands. So alrighty, guys, take care. Bye. Big hugs. Big loves. Bye.